Welcome to my first ever YouTube video of uh, anything, and I'm an iOS developer. Um, I've got something to show you guys. Uh, it's actually a kind of a video input for the iPad using a video capture card. So, uh, nice and cheap. Uh, one of these it literally just says video capture, USB C or on the other side, but you can get those of USB C or USB A to convert over to. Um, USB-C, which is on my iPad Pro, you can see here. So if I load up the iCapture Reno, which is the app I've built, um, simply plug it in into the USB-C. Hopefully I'll recognize the input. So this is actually running off my Mac, um, which I currently have running here. So you can see my mouse actually moving here. Um, let's see if I've actually got anything running. So if I just put this on, I've got a YouTube video we're playing at the moment on the side. What you can hear right now is actually the iPad. Let's turn that volume down a little bit. Sorry about the colours. But what we can see here is actually the HMI strains here using the actual audio as well. So if you tap on the actual screen, you'll get the actual like options here. Uh, what we have kind of volume input. You can turn it all the way up and all the way down. Uh, I've also included kind of a battery life there, just at the top right. Uh, you have different video scalings as well. So as you can see, it scales to here. But if you wanted to say, reach to the top of the screen, you can do that. You do lose the end of it, but you do get the 16 by 10 uh, iPad school screen. Now, you also have stretch as well, which will give you a quite squished view, but it'll literally stretch to the edge of the screen. All right, go back to the letterbox. Um, so what we have as well, I'm sorry I'm going back and forth, uh, is that we have some kind of photography tools. So this is the main reason why I bought, uh, kind of built this, um, so to kind of allow me to have an external screen to my camera. Uh, so the grid lines here, just to kind of outline, unfortunately, can you see it? There you go, just about to see it. Um, you can just enable, uh, so kind of that standard two thirds, uh, thirds, sorry, grid uh, that you've got there. We also have a real time histogram, so that's that's down here. So this real-time histogram uh, kind of floats on top. Uh, it's actually kind of the RGB and A. Um, so I'm kind of like flowing all, that's actually live. So if I just say, um, just pause that, you can see it's now darker here. Uh, and if I just put back up again, you can see just all the colors picking coming through. So as the two screen moving, it's actually moving with it. So the other Kind of professional photography tools that we have is actually a real-time look uh, or lookup table so if i just turn it off as now so distract less distracting turn this on it's already loaded up the first one i have uh, which is currently called beagle uh, so the top bottom right corner here i'm just using my hand uh, so you can have a selection of few uh, so it's just like a poodle we'll just kind of give it a pink sh shade to it uh, main kind of like a faded one so the color color grading uh, so it's got a nice preview to watch you what you would hopefully see when you actually do video kind of video editing yourself uh, or in photography. Um, so it's not to it take it like um, one to one, but at least it gives you a really good idea what it should look like. Now the other thing you can do is load in custom ones. So if you have a, a PNG um, color grading, um, so for LUTs, uh, I've got one here. So I can just load it up, and now it's in black and white. Should you see that? So that's the kind of the lookup table. So you just literally, you can obviously full screen it up here. So if I just disable that now, and now we're back to the original feed. And what we also have is recording. So if you say play in a console, uh, and you just want to record you playing it, you can actually just tap record, and you can see a little red mark that's down here, just to indicate you are recording. And I'm just gonna stop that now. Now you can move it across to the other side. It's actually another recording I had before, but you should be able to see this recorded. Let's go back. So as it goes back, it resumes where it was left off. Now, so that's kind of just kind of overview of actually the, the app itself. Um, now, the other thing we do have, uh, so I've been requested it quite a few times, that especially for like small iPads like this, is like, is all well and good that you have kind of a good separate screen, but it's kind of sometimes too small. So the advantage here is that we are allowing pinch to zoom as well. So you can actually zoom straight in 
uh, four times the actual like feed itself and just have a look through. So um, and it's great for like websites and stuff. So you want to read text, you want to go straight in there. Uh, and, and also with uh, iPad minis. But also when you're for, for doing photography, you want to have a little zoom in in at certain places, but without actually zooming into your camera, this is a good way to do it as well. So just zoom in back out. Well, I hope you enjoy the uh, overview. Um, if you want to join a test flight beta, I'm going to put the link in the description. Uh, apologies, this is the first time I've ever done a YouTube video, so you got what you got. Um, but yeah, you got any feedback, um, requests on the features, anything like that, just send them over my way and I'll see what I can do. Thanks.